Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Alliance War video. So, we're going to have two wars in this video because in one war I only did uh, two fights and many people in the comments have told me before that it's ridiculous to upload a video for just two fights. So, I just thought I'd link these two together. So, we're coming up against this GWS. Now, first and foremost, this highlights Kabam matchmaking at its finest. Um... It was really good for us as a mismatch, but obviously really harsh on GWS. They were Platinum 1, Platinum 2, I think, at the time of matching us. And we were in the top spot, so I don't really understand how that happens. But it, it does. So, anyway, we're going to match up against them here. And my only two fights are in Section 2. So, you can see I have Wyatt Magneto on the team. And I'm just going to be putting that on two fights in section one. And that's all my contribution for this part of this bit of the war. So I'll, uh, I'll cut off here and I'll fast forward it to the point where I'm actually useful. Well, let's say somewhat useful. So here we are in section two now. We're going to be doing path nine. And we have this magneto on the hazard shift and one eye open node. Um, and yep, yeah, you can see from the thumbnail, you can see it from the team. I do have Terax with me this war. Now, the officers assigned Terax. Um, the main choices here would be like Terax or Thing, uh, but they did highlight that they wanted to see Terax do it. So here goes. We have a white Magneto on it, but that's not going to make a difference. It's just going to give me the attack boost. So here, I purposely do, uh, and I even told the officers I was my. I had that plan, was to hit into the unstoppable in the first phase while I had all the indestructibles and everything. So you can see this whole cooldown period now and it really gives me a chance to do some damage. Now, using Tarax, you want to be ending your combos with light attacks. What this does is it refreshes all the armor break debuffs you can see on Magneto. Now, Tarax is a sick and tired attacker. So you're going to see in a second that once I knock them down, there we go, the heal block is now active. So now if I can, while I've got this, like all these armor breaks on and I get the chance to, I just want to be laying into them. We're on to 10 armor breaks, hitting with the light attacks. I could try and dex the special twos, but I was like, ah, it's his only fight. I'm not that bothered. Um, and now it's just hitting into him with these 10 armor breaks, doing decent damage, end it with an 8k medium just there. And I think it was like 56 seconds or something. So you can see the, the man, the myth, the legend up there on the screen, just standing tall, standing proud. But yeah, 50 seconds compared to like a, a three and a half minute fight from Thing. I can see why they wanted to test him. And then it's just a quake fight. So again, normal procedure, speed this up. But yes, um, this was pretty much all of my contribution to this GWS uh, war. Uh, I had a couple of bits going off. So they kind of took that into account and gave me a, a rather small assignment. And I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so it is what it is. We, uh, we end this war. You'll see the scores in a second. Now, I do apologize for the next war you're about to see in advance. Um, I was actually out at the cinema watching a Top Gun Maverick film. I know I'm, I'm a bit behind on the times. Um, so I didn't actually manage to catch any of the war score screens before the end of the war. But yeah, you can see here, look, that it was a very big difference in war. Uh, whereas this one is TCN. So we've met with, we've already faced these once a season. We naturally face these at least once a season, normally twice. Um, and I'm definitely not bringing in this team. So the team that I'm bringing in for this war is Archangel. Havoc, so you can already guess what fight's coming. And where is she? Where is she? Magic. So only one fight with Magic. Uh, two fights with Archangel. And then three fights with Havoc. So we're going to go straight into Path 6 in Section 1 here. And we're just going to um, take a little bit of time to uh, look around the map. Make sure I'm happy with what the plan is. Um, I thought originally I might have been using Archangel on that Wiccan. 
but we ended up using it with void so that also makes a lot of sense maybe even more sense with void being incinerate immune it's uh it, that does make sense now it's, it's annoying that void's not a great like battlegrounds champion overall just because he takes a little bit of time because he deserves to be like one of the best in every game mode because void is just that good he just needs some time and some loving that's all but anyway now i've digressed from my uh, little fanboy moment of void um we're gonna have just this medium set of boosts on for section one uh, i'm gonna put a 150 on there and i did think i clicked on a uh, a mutant boost but I scrolled down to find them and then apparently just didn't click it. So I have the power back boost on, I just don't have the enhanced mutant special boost. And I don't know why. I noticed it after I'd done the Killmonger fight. I was like, why do I not have that on? I could have swore I clicked it because I went to go buy the um, the fresh set of them out of the loyalty store. But it is what it is. So anyway, this is spiked armor, so if I crit, I'm going to... Um, do any uh, additional damage back to myself. Obviously, with me being energy uh, damage champion, Havoc here is just going to kind of ignore the rock, like rock fawns, whatever it's called. Um, and I'm just going to try and build up to special um, free. Now, you have multiple ways of doing this fight because I'm not really paying much attention to the. Um, combat deja vu prowess or whatever the silly node is what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to constantly try and push him up to special two because of these prowesses um i don't really want him throwing a special one if i can help it here my plan is just get rid of these rock shields and then i can throw a special two or a special three even sorry so now as soon as i can bait out the special two from them and they gain these like plasma charges as you can see there if I can gain, make them gain a few, which would have been a bit easier than what I did, this fight would have been uh, also over for a higher health pool, King, like Korg. But you're going to see the Havoc special free. One of them just nukes him down. So, Korg there is dead. And now we're on to this shared fight, Killmonger. Um, I'm going to put one potion in to take him back to max health. Then we're just going to go straight into the fight. So, the main thing to remember here is that before I throw the special free, I want to be knocking him down. And I really, if I can, I want to keep hitting them as much as I can. Um, just to keep the aggression prowess down. Because if he starts getting like 5 or 6 prowess, pins me in a corner and throws a special 2. That's a lot of health gone for absolutely no reason. Killmonger normally is quite keen to throw specials. But... We all know the AI can have its moments. So I, I'm just going to ignore the reverb, at least for the most part, because it's not really going to do that much damage. There's a little bit of chip damage here and there, and I'm not really that concerned about it. Here, I was waiting for his prowess to build. Luckily, I only got to two before he threw this special two. So now I'm going to drop this heavy attack, and I decide to pause because of how much power he had. I get a nice little intercept there, so now I'm waiting for him to throw a special two. He's still not throwing it. He's still not throwing it. And there, with four prowess, you can just see how much block damage that did. And because of how long it took, I actually lost all of my... Um, the, the fury from the node. So now I just think, right, I've got an indestructible. Let's just go for it. He's not put any bleeds on me or anything either, so it's not like it's going to do anything. And I do about 50% of his health with that one special free. But he's still kicking and he's still kicking strong. So I now am away from the corner. So I'm quite confident. Like Dex in the special two. And we can just try and build these prowesses. Or try and take these prowesses away. Try and build my charges back up. To be able to throw another special free and try and end the fight. I can't hit him into his block because he threw the special one. So he has them um, forced charge things. They'll make him go unstoppable. And yeah, I don't want that. So now they've gone, we can hit the block. And bait out the special two here. 
Again, if I got my spacing right, I could have done like a light attack and into a heavy there and change that straight in to be able to throw the special free after. But yeah, this this fight really, for the most part, shouldn't be anything to worry about. And he's dead with the second special free. So I wouldn't say nice and easy, but I wouldn't say difficult either. It was just a steady, steady fight against a tier one killmonger. All of these champions, for the most part, are going to be like really high sig leveled, rank four. I think one of the battle groups in this alliance has like 42 rank fours on defense or something. It's something absolutely crazy. So here, I like to get this fight done if I ever get assigned it. I just like it over with. Um, and I give myself a little mini challenge to try and complete in this fight. Which was someone said that... Um, the the leader of the alliance um was like one of the best havoc players which we all knew anyway um but he ended this fight on like 98 percent health or something so they're all like yeah he's um because i ended the last one with 60 or whatever so i was being called a um a bot and uh, everything in between by the uh by some alliance mates so i was like right finish this We've got to try and beat this 98. And yeah, you're going to see how this fight goes. Um, I'm pretty happy with this one, to be fair. Um, pretty happy. You'll see a, a difference um, side of me in a second. But this fight's always a bit weird. It always, always, always comes down to what the AI is going to do from Nick. Um, that's why it's just a weird fight, especially without Apocalypse. But people really kind of need to get used to it because you're not going to have Apoc next season either. Because if he isn't on the um, on the ban, the like constant ban list next season, things need to be checked. Because how Ghost didn't get it last season, and if, especially if Apoc and Ghost don't get it this season, like <sighs> that will be mind-blowing so anyway now all i'm going to do is i'm going to wait for more of these uh, plasma charges on nick to build up there you can see i take a blocked hit and it actually lowers me to 96 <sighs> percent. so challenge failed um but it's okay so now he's on 10 of the plasma charges and we're going to throw the special free and you're going to see just this rank four Nick Fury's health just disappear for the first life. So that's what I've been missing doing in a few of the other Nick Fury fights with Havoc. I've missed waiting for them plasma charges to build up so that they'll detonate after the special three as well. Um, but now we've got to let these charges build back up to 10 or around 10 while we're also dancing around for his decoy to die out for the um, down to 30%. Just to make sure, you know, this is a this is definitely a kill. Luckily for me, I've, um, well, you could say lucky or unlucky. I've pulled Havoc a couple of times out of this feature crystal. So his SIG level's getting a little bit higher now to increase the chances of getting a second charge per time the cycle goes around. And you can see that's the case. And yeah, that's the fight ending. So the one blocked hit that I thought I'd dexed Ended up costing me my little challenge that I'd set myself. Hence why I was a. Uh... Hence why I wrote that comment there. I was uh, a little bit wound up at the time. Um, and then because I put thirty percent on us, I, I was spoke to my um, alliance mate who was joining up with me on path seven. I was like, no rush, but if you can, um, if we can do a couple of fights, and I can try and squeeze out this thirty percent for everything that it's good for then uh, fair enough. So we get to the point now where we can, so I'm going to use Archangel on this Magneto. Uh, we're looking at a few different options, um, and Archangel just seemed like by far the better one. There I missed a parry. Um, I was actually sat in my car, like parked up on a friend's driveway at this point, doing this fight. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. Um... It's pretty, it wasn't anything dangerous. I just had to use my, like, I just used my third invuln or whatever it was of this war. 
just because we kind of really needed this win to be able to secure the season for ourselves and to make ourselves feel more comfortable going into the last war of this season because now it's all to play for in this final war um, and between ourselves and JA in second, there is only three attack bonus and one diversity point difference. So I think it's the closest war season we've had. I think last season was like six attacks bonus going into the last war. Now it's only three attack bonus. So yeah, the game, to say it wasn't a competitive season for those who have taken it competitively, it's close. It's very, very close. There's a few alliances towards the top and everyone is quite close. Here we're going to get the Odin prefights given to me for this Super Scroll. Just so we can control his power a little bit better. But it doesn't really change anything. I could not get a parry at the start there to save my life. So I bait a dash in to be able to get the parry. And now we just need Archangels um, RNG to kind of come through. We've got three bleeds. So hopefully the poisons will start. We've got one Neurotoxin there. Got a poison, so a few more Neurotoxins here. And yeah, now I'm just I just decided to push them to special three. With me having the indestructible, I'm like, it's fine. Let him throw it. It's just a little bit of time. There's nothing else bad that can come of it. I've already stopped the falter because of the neurotoxins. So you're going to see here, this is Archangel's last fight anyway. Um, so I don't need to heal back up so I can take whatever block damage or whatever I need. And that's that fight done. So about 50 seconds, including watching a, a special free animation. And that fight's all done. So that was all the stuff for the first night. You can see there, there was quite a few hours left of war. Um, I wake up the next day and after a good little bit of deliberation between um, <laughs> teammates in the battle group, we decide that we're all ready to go for Mini Island and to, to have a push at the boss. So I'm going to boost up here. They've told me to like boost up pretty well because they want to make sure that we can save attack bonuses where we can. Obviously, for this war but also towards the overall season scores so i've got half suicides just the bleed suicides on magic i have all of these boosts on i even have a white max pre-fight um, and we're going to go into this long shot on the conflict mini now i was a bit cautious for this because my officers gave me the assignment of when you're going to do the combos you want to do light medium light medium now i tried it in practices and i had to close the game down after every practice but that's fine um whether it's just my fingers my coordination my phone whatever i don't know the game i could not get the light medium light medium combo to work and especially not to chain a special two at the end of it i have no idea why i tried it a few times and i was like look i can't do it like i've tried i'm not risking it in war um, it's just not happening so i decided to change my own methods and may have taken a little bit longer but i felt it was pretty safe and it was going to be parry light medium uh, parry medium light sorry parry medium light and then when it comes to fraying the special two i was going to do medium light medium and then it works out for me that way and you see i'm controlling his karma perfectly um, i'm throwing these special twos pretty consistently got nothing really to worry about Conflictor can only trigger when I throw this special. So I did remove uh, Mystic Dispersion in case I did give him any of the block um, Conflictor nodes. But you're going to see here that this fight, at the end there, I'd do it, trigger them off. It was just over a minute and 20, and yeah, nice and easy. So we actually lost this war and fair play to TCN because they smashed us. We performed really poorly. They took full advantage, and they fully deserved that win. So good luck to them for the rest of the season. Good luck to everybody in the final war. And I'll catch you in the next one.